Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Welcome to Chamonix and the Arcteryx Alpine Academy. Now this is exciting because we thought this event was cancelled for the summer and for sure it's been slimmed down, but it's still offering weekend courses with experts, guides and athletes. So today we're going to spend the weekend with the Arcteryx Academy and the Chamex guides and find out what's on offer. One of the advantages of the Academy being in Chamonix is the flexibility it offers you. Today is not the best weather day, but undeterred, we've joined the Crevasse Rescue Group and we're heading up the Skyway in Italy to the top, where there's a nice hut to go and chill and discuss Crevasse Rescue, and also there's a possibility of the weather getting a bit better. I don't know what they're talking about bad weather. It's just the wrong type of clothes. It's fine. Let's go climbing or, or alternatively, let's go coughing. We are in Italy after all. This is the wonderful Torino hut, a place where you can hang out and have a coffee and of course stay the night if you're doing some bigger routes. Now the team is behind me learning about Crevasse Rescue and Crevasse Rescue is one of the many courses on offer during these weekends. Now it's a complicated subject and because the weather's so bad it actually gives the guys an opportunity to sit down and learn about the fundamentals before going outside into the snow and trying it out for themselves. All right, it is a bad weather day, but Rick, we're heading out uh, onto the glacier right now. Um, it's not dangerous to do this, right? Um, it's not dangerous so long as you take the right precautions. And in fact, we've got a brilliant day uh, because we've got um, conditions that will make it a little bit more testing. A bit of fresh snow that hides crevasses. So that's a reason to rope up and to use the rope correctly. So yeah, it's, it's, fa it's actually fabulous conditions for us. Fundamentally, what are you going through with the group today? So we're talking a lot about glacier travel, glacier travel, um, how to avoid crevasses because although we talk often about crevasse rescue, uh, it's, uh, it's better if you avoid falling in in the first place. Uh, and then how to deal with uh, crevasse falls if, uh, yeah, if, if that does happen. Um, we're then going to move on to that you know, later on in, in the day. So we, we've got a long day ahead of us. Um, hopefully we're not going to get too cold. Alpine climbing is always an adventure and as you can see the weather isn't exactly playing ball but it's all good because the group behind us is learning about walking on the glacier, protecting themselves with the terrain and of course a bit of crevasse rescue but it is pretty extreme out here today. I mean look, people are going to find it. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind, but Raphael, uh, you've got a little shelter in here and apparently biscuits in your bag, is that yeah. right? Yeah, I opened the bar on the called the Petit Flambeau, especially for the big TV. This <laughs> beautiful day. <laughs> so, the freak is outside, learning some uh, stuff you can see from the windows here. Yeah. yeah. Cool, All right, we have to go do some more filming. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Now this is quite a good setup because it's not actually a crevasse, it's just a slope, but the guys can practice falling into it and everyone else catching their fall and resting it. So Rick's got everyone roped up, we'll go and check out some of the action. Joey, hang in there, we're going to pull you out and now we're going to start pulling all together and I'm going to pull on this. Stop! Stop! In the snow! There is so much to learn on the subject of crevasse rescue and building anchors. Too much to get into this short little snippet for you, so I'd really recommend you book yourself onto a course if you want to learn more. Right, weather's coming in, we're going to run away, back down, back to Chamonix, into France, and find out what else the Academy has to offer.
Isabel, so lovely to see you back on the Academy. Uh, what are you teaching today? Uh, today I'm with Nina, Nina Capres, and we're teaching um, just skills for multi-pitch climbing. So the group have never done any multi-pitch, so we're trying to just give them as much um, tips for them to climb up and not make a mess with the ropes. It's super interesting because like this is sort of a beginner multi-pitch thing but I'm, I've am i sat and watched you guys for a good half an hour while you're going through certain things. There's so much you can learn isn't there and just from what Nina's systems, your systems, e even if you're not new to this kind of thing there's stuff to pick up. There's so much to pick up because we all have the different experience and, and there's not like a perfect system but as long as people know um, the, the safety of it, then they can adapt and make it to the, like what works for them. There's always something to learn. I've just learned something with, with Nina. It's also the organisation of it. I'm, I'm super guilty of getting to belays and just sort of being like, oh my God, I'm safe. And then just throwing my rope and it gets tangled and stuff. And I got my shoe, ta you know, nightmare. So the sort of calm, organised approach it, it is good to just to remind yourself as well. Safety first. So you have to really understand when you arrive at the belay, just where everything goes. Um, less you don't want to have like a ropes like um, spider webs you want to be this as simple as possible and uh, the best way is to use um, a cow tail a rope cow tail then you know exactly where you are so that's what we're teaching as much as instead of clipping with the ropes Nina Caprez, wonderful to see you back in the academy as always. You're more of a pro athlete than a guide, um, so you bring a real sort of real world perspective to these clinics. What kind of thing are you teaching the guys here today? I am teaching how to make a real Swiss belay, you know, very organized to avoid any kind of mess or panic situation or so. No, seriously, um, I just explain them like all the different type of belay station and uh, how they can be best to organize like a, a belay. Viola, nice to see you. Uh, you did the Arcteryx Academy last year. It's all a bit different this year, isn't it? But it's the same sort of principles in place. Yes, indeed. Uh, actually, I'm living near Bars, and that's why I decided to come for a weekend. So yeah, it's a bit different. There's a bit less clinics. But anyway, I, I, I really like it in multi-pitch. Oh, I think I'm going to climb. Oh, climbing. Okay. <laughs> there we go. She's got to go climbing. She's learning some stuff. I'll see you later. Good luck. OK. Once the guys have learnt the skills on the ground, they then take it to the wall and they're currently halfway up one of the big multi-pitches here at Guyon. And it's time that we headed up too because we're going climbing again, this time learning some mountaineering skills. Yeah. 